Between His Creations. This is episode 141. A little update on my knee. I was supposed to go back to work this past Monday, but that didn't work out. I went to bed Sunday night and my knee was really, really bothering me to put weight on it. I got up Monday morning and I could barely walk. So back to the orthopedic surgeon. They gave me a second cortisone shot uh, in another part of my knee and told me apparently I have severe arthritis, which I wasn't aware. I knew I had arthritis, but I would never have considered it severe. But apparently it is, and it caused a flare-up because of all of the um, stuff that went on with the surgery and irritating the joint. Apparently it caused a flare-up. So now I have the surgery, the flare-up from the arthritis, and the muscles around my knee are inflamed. Yeah, but it is starting to feel better, and I am hoping this Monday to go back to work because I really like my life to get back to normal. So we also have had a fun week because our grandsons and granddaughter and our son and daughter-in-law are in from Ohio, and so we've been having a lot of fun, and later in the video, we're going to insert some family get-togethers because it was my dad's 80th birthday, and we were all able to be there for that. And... Um, Weather permitting, we're going to be going down the slide. I will not be going down the slide this time, um, but uh, yeah, we're hoping to do that this afternoon. I'm filming on Thursday, so we're hoping Thursday afternoon, and then the whole gang is getting together at our house tonight for hot dogs and snacks, and so we'll have about 20 people here. And then tomorrow night we're doing steamed shrimp because that's something apparently you can't get out in Ohio as much because they're further away from the ocean. So we're having steamed shrimp for dinner tomorrow night. So that is the update on that. Let's get started with what I am working on. I will start with my, I'll, I will uh, I will rotate between knitting and crochet this week because I like to switch things up a little bit. This is the sweater that I have been working on. It is a cotton bamboo blend. I have finished the beading section. You can see this is where I was last week. So I've, I've done about an inch, but I've now separated for the sleeves. So this, this is one sleeve here. It's being held on a band and, or a stitch holder, and this is the other sleeve. So now I'm just knitting around and around, and so I'm, I'm, I've am i eliminated like 160 stitches. I think I'm at about 360 stitches all the way around right now, so there's around 80-some stitches on each sleeve. So I'm doing about 200 or a little better going around, so it's a little faster. I did finish the yoke as far as the beaded section, as you can see right here. I do have a few beads left over. And I think what I'm going to do is when I do the bottom, um, I might do, again, like a scalloped edge or something, and I might put the beads into the scallops, or I might do a pico edging, something like that, and I'm going to put, I'm going to incorporate the beads somehow or other in the hem of the sweater. That's the plan, at least. So um, this is what I have left of two of the first balls of yarn. So um, again, I'm real happy with it so far. Real pleased with the way it's looking here. You can see the seam that runs down right here to the sleeves. So that is knitting project number one. Crochet project number one I have not done as much on. This is my uh, blanket that I'm making that's all done in the shell stitch. And I've only done about three rows of it this week. I've been playing with grandchildren, so it's been, you know, priorities here. Uh, so you can see I've done maybe four. I've done four rows since last week on that. So, and this is part, this is what I've got left of the ball, and this is all leftover scrap yarns. So that is crochet project number one. Now we'll go to knit project number two which is the pattern Swedish Lines. And of course I'm mid-row to be able to show this to you, but last week, last week I had just finished this gray section up and I thought I was done with this section, but I had one more stretch of the white to go 
before I start the narrower gray lines. Um, there's narrower, narrower gray lines that are close together at the end part of the shawl. So um, I did all of this section. So this is what it looks like so far. This is just eyelet lace in between here. And this is a pattern from Blueprint. The yarn um, is actually on sale at Blueprint. When we get to the sale section, I will tell you about it, but it's called Kamina Alpaca. It's really, really soft. Um, they, in the kit itself, they give you three balls. They give you two of a main color and one color for um, your contrasting color. And it's extremely soft. It is alpaca. I think it's an alpaca blend. I don't know. I don't remember offhand if it's 100% alpaca. But it is really soft. And this is a fingering weight yarn, as you can see. Which means it's not as, it's not as heavy as a worsted. It's slightly lighter than sock weight yarn. Uh, a lot of times fingering and sock weight are kind of interchangeable. Sport weight kind of falls in that same category, too. They're all three very similar, uh, but this is considered fingering weight. I mean, you could make socks out of it, It's, but it is a little bit thinner than your average sock yarn. So, again, this is the Swedish lines pattern that is um, available over on Blueprint. And now we come to crochet project number two, and that would be the wrap that I'm working on, and I actually have, I actually have just worked on duplicating, here's, let me hold it up first, here is the center of it, and then I'm starting the wings of the wrap going out. This was the one I finished last week, I mean it's not finished, but this is how far I got last week. So this week I've just concentrated, and I haven't finished yet on working on the opposite side. So I have a few more rows. I'm just getting, you can see right here, this yarn is slightly different right there. So I'm just getting to the striping part, which is this section right here. So I'm about halfway through on this side, what I've done on this side. So I haven't done a whole lot with this, mainly because I need to concentrate more with this and I can't talk and do that at the same time. I'm not multi-talented, or I'm not an ambidextrous crocheter. There we go. <laughs> so those are my works in progress for this week. Now before you all see the show and tell, I wanted to show talk about a couple things that are in there that you're gonna see that I thought especially interesting. There is um, a clock, well, it's a clock face that was painted out of a record, you know, like our old records. I think it was done out of a 10 inch record. So I don't remember if that was 78, the size that were 78s. Um, the real big ones were 33 and a half, I think. And then there was the littles that were the 45. And then there was one in between. So um, anyway, it's a 10 inch, it was a 10 inch record. And the painting on it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and she's using it as a clock face, and it's ideal. I mean, I just thought that was so unique because of the fact that you've already got the hole drilled in the middle of it to go around on the record player. It's like, what a great use for old records. I've also seen people take records and, like, slightly melt them and conform them into the shape of a bowl, and then when they harden, um, you have this bowl-shaped record uh, that you can put, like, popcorn and stuff in. So kind of neat ideas, things to do with leftovers, recycling. Um, or upcycling, as they say, leftover things that we don't know what to do with anymore. So I would imagine with the record, because of the grooves in it, that you would have had to put some kind of a, I mean, I don't know for certain, uh, but I would assume you have to put something to kind of fill the grooves in, because it would be very difficult to paint otherwise. So there's got to be some kind of priming process, I would imagine. But anyway, thought that was interesting. And on the note of painting, one of our subscribers, Edna Tolleson, who has a um, podcast called Granny Crafter, um, she does painting as well. And so she showed some of the paintings in the show and tell last week. And so there's a few more of her paintings, as well as some art that she made with polymer clay into a into a um, like a bouquet of flowers. Uh, that's as it's it's done as a painting, but the it hangs on the wall. It's not like three-dimensional. It hangs on the wall, but it has dimension to it because it's done with a polymer clay. 
She also did uh, quilling, which is, I remember when I was a kid, people doing quilling. And it's like little teeny strips of paper that you curl and then you put them together and they make designs. Um, so you're going to see that. Uh, Fran Derrick and Yoka are both participating in the Tour de Fleece, uh, not to be confused with the Tour de France, uh, but the Tour de Fleece, which is a spinning competition that runs during the, the Tour de France. And last week I showed um, some of the yarn that they both, or some of the fiber that both of them have prepared in order to get ready for the, um, the I wouldn't say race, but the event, we'll say it, event, because there's all different events within there. Uh, so anyway, and, and on that note, something funny. I had mentioned that, you know, the cigar looking bundles of fiber are called roll legs. And uh, Yoka said when she first heard the word roll leg years ago, she had Googled it and it showed up watches like Rolex watches. And then Pam got to laughing and said she thought I said the same thing and couldn't figure out why there were, uh, why we were spinning watches. And so then the jokes went downhill from there, talking about um, how expensive the fleece was when it was Rolex fleece and how some people would like to have gold and diamond fleece. And then I said I would like to fall asleep counting Rolex sheep. Um, so, yes, the, the humor was flying back and forth about the uh, Rolag, not to be confused with Rolex watches. So uh, that was our little fun and humor of the week, which I kind of needed after la after the last week or so with, with everything going on with my daughter and, and everything with the, the fire and all. Um, it was good to have a good laugh. So it was fun. Um, so anyway, Fran has done some of her spinning and so you will see some of her progress so far, some of the bobbins and the plying that she's done. And so, yes, there's some interesting things in show and tell this week. So that being said, I'm going to let the footage roll.
I'm going to insert our little our little week of family fun and craziness that's been going on with all the grandkids and my relatives and my dad's 80th birthday party. Happy birthday, Dad! Um, so we all had a lot of fun. So I'm going to insert the footage here. <laughs> I was wondering, it was like, what is that? Ion radiant. Yeah. Can I read it? I didn't think it was a war, you know, right? <laughs> Taking pictures. Oh. <laughs> I'm working hard holding the porch down right now. <laughs> Tough job. And there's Grandpa over there cooking. Wave to the masses. Burn the Burning the hot dogs. For those who like, well done. And I can feel the rain coming well, in even on the porch. The now it's time for. Now, in our Come and Get It section this week, Annie's has some really, really pretty knit and crochet afghan patterns. Um, I was looking through it. Um, yeah, there's a, there's some really pretty ones out there that they've got uh, right now. In the, Some of them are under their, their exclusives, and then there's some other ones that are just in their new arrivals. Um, so you just kind of have to look around, but I was kind of drooling through them, and there's some pretty, like I said, knit and crochet afghan patterns. Blueprint is offering Bernat satin yarn on sale for $1.92 a skein. They also are offering Bernat softy chunky yarn 
for 329 a skein and the Camina alpaca, which is what I'm making the Swedish line shawl out of. They are selling that for 332 per skein. So um, that's a pretty good deal for alpaca. Um, so that is Blueprint. Consumer Crafts has Lily Sugar and Cream, which is what I made my pot holders out of and uh, what you make dishcloths out of and things. That is on sale for $1.57, which is about the cheapest I've found at any place. Create for Less has Aunt Lydia's um, cotton, um, the crochet thread that you make doilies out of. They have that on sale right now for $239 to $289. So it depends on, I guess, the weight and the size skein that you buy or ball that you buy. Uh, but it's on sale for $239 to $289. They also are offering Red Heart Classic in select colors for $2.39 per skein. That's Create for Less. Hobium Yarn has their stars of the month for July are 25% off, and most of the yarns that are there are um, cotton yarns right now because of it being summertime. They also have some knitting and crochet tools on sale over there. And always check out the clearance sale. That was another joke this week. I said, uh, I like uh, clearance draws me like a bug to a light. That was my son's wording for it when I was years ago. They couldn't, my husband and my son could not find me in the store. And my son said, look for mom in the clearance section. It attracts her like a bug to a light. And sure enough, that's where I was checking out the sales. Um, and that, that conversation came in place because if you saw on the show and tell that Pam did a little bit of shopping over at Walmart. Apparently they were having a good sale and she, she, she did a little shopping. Yeah, it sounded like fun. So, uh, yeah, that would be Hopium Yarn. So, like I said, check out their clearance section. Uh, there's too many over there for me to mention, uh, but they have quite a selection in their clearance. Um, and as with Hobium and Ice Brand Yarns, the more yarn you buy, the cheaper you get it at. So if you buy one skein, you get one price. If you buy five, a package of five or ten, you get it significantly cheaper. So um, that's, again, Hobium Yarn. Ice Yarn has a whole bunch of new gradient cakes on sale. Um, I didn't list all of them because they have a ton of them. And... Uh, like I said, they're new gradient cakes. So some of them are done in chenille. Some of them are baby weight yarn. Some of them are worsted weight. There is a whole bunch of them over there. Uh, just go check it out. It's like it pops up on the first page because it says under new and it shows up. Uh, that these are new to them. So those are worth checking out over at Ice Yarns. And don't forget, they also have, and this is where I do most of my shopping, they have the garage sale section, the mixed lots section, and the closeout section, which are all the cheapest section of iced yarns. Those are the, the categories where they're selling things at the highest discount, which is where I head to. So, um, yeah, that's ice yarns. Knit Crate, of course, offers 20% off of your first subscription box. And you do need to use the coupon code KCREATIONS20 in order to get that discount. And speaking of which, Wednesday's video should be, I say should be, a Knit Crate uh, unboxing because it was sent out, I believe, today. So it should be coming in the next few days. So I'm hoping that will be Wednesday's uh, video. Knit Picks is offering 20% off of their Yarn of the Month, which is Chroma. They also are offering 50% off of over 1,200 different yarns right now. 40% off of their books, and they are running a stackable savings right now. Um, I did put this in one of the ads earlier this week. Uh, if you spend $50, you get $5 off. You need to use the coupon code STACK5. If you spend $75, you can get $10 off with the coupon code STACK10. If you spend $100, you get $20 off. So you need to use the coupon code STACK20. Leisure Arts is running a Christmas in July sale. So what it is, is it's Christmas projects. If you're starting to work on things for Christmas, which is like six months away, um, they are offering some sales over in that section. They also have, I was looking at some of their books, they have a Stitch a Garden book, which is an Amigurumi 
of all different kind of things you would see in your flower or vegetable garden. I think there's vegetable garden. I saw definitely like cacti and stuff like that. Um, so it's how to make plants. We'll just say it that way. All kinds of plants that you can make um, by Amigurumi over and it's called uh, Stitch a Garden. There's also, an, and I think that's mostly crochet, but there is a knitted bunch of books or patterns that they have right now on different ponchos. So uh, those looked kind of fun and ponchos are become very popular right now. So that is Leisure Arts. And then lastly, we have Lion Brand Yarn who has, they are offering 35% off of their ice cream yarns right now. And over in their clearance section, they have Mandala Yarn, three cakes for $10. Now I've bought that. Um, I've shown it on here before. Just be aware if you order the mandala, they're not all the same. It's going to be three different colors. And because they're yarn ends, they don't have a ball band on them. So you'll have to go in and look at the mandala color options to determine which one it is you've gotten. Uh, but they are mill ends. Uh, but when I ordered it, I got three different colors. But again, it's, you know, three for $10. So you're paying $3.33 for a Good sized cake of yarn. I forget how many yards were in it, but it was quite a bit. Um, I keep thinking it was over 500 yards or close. Somewhere in there. They also are offering their DIY yarn, a package of three, starting at $2, which is a really good price. They have, um, in their clearance section, they have bulky yarns, a package of three for $5. And they also have their made in the USA yarn uh, package of three for five dollars. So make sure you check out Lion Brand's clearance section. It's like I said, a bug to a light. Um, as I said, our upcoming video on Wednesday will hopefully be a knit crepe video. So that's it for this week. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please click that little red subscribe button. If you click the bell icon next to it, it will notify you anytime I post a video which is norm always on Saturday and normally on Wednesday. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to leave comments down below. I like chatting with all you guys and getting to know you better. And thanks again for watching and have a wonderful week.